Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. Now, if you want to learn more about our Sports Business Accelerator program, this is our number one program that we have for, for sports coaches who want to start, grow and scale their business, then reach out to me. There's a number of ways you can do that. You can visit the description below and there's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me to learn more about our number one program. So today I want to talk about, and this was a question I got asked a couple of days ago, and the question is, are private one-on-one -on -one sessions worth it? Okay, now, one-on-one -on -one sessions, I believe, are worth it if you are doing a couple of things, right? So if you're a, a sole trainer, so what I mean by a sole trainer is, if you're running the business by yourself, you don't have any other assistants, you know, you're doing the training, you're doing the managing, the operations of the business, and you want to grow and scale doing private one-on-one -on -one sessions, there's a number of ways that you can do this and that you can grow and scale, okay? So the first one is if you want to grow and scale, right, you have to start charging more for your sessions. So however you charge currently, if you do a subscription model, like we teach coaches in our Sports Business Accelerator program, or you charge parents upfront for three, six or nine month commitments, however you do that, if you want to grow and scale the business, then you've got to start charging more for this type of service. Now, what I like to do with coaches is I like to teach them how to create this into a premium type of service. So what I mean by premium type is it's a service that is expensive, but it's a, it's a service that parents aren't getting anywhere else in their local town or city. So there's a number of things that you can do in order to make this a, a premium type of service. And if you wanna learn more, again, visit the description below. There's a number of ways you can contact me to learn more about our Accelerator program, but also if you have any questions for me with regards to this video, contact me as well through, through there. So number one, you've got to charge more for your service. Right? And then number two, you've got to make sure that your sessions are set day, set time. Okay. Now, what I mean by set day, set time is you have to make sure that <clears throat> your, your sessions are the same day and same time every single week. So that way your schedule becomes, right, it becomes known to you. What a lot of coaches are currently doing at the moment that run one-on-one -on -one sessions is their, their schedule is just all over the place. So Sunday morning, they'll text all the parents that they have in a WhatsApp group or in an email, or however they, they could communicate with parents, and they will ask them what days are they available. So what coaches will do is that based on the response of the parent, they will then schedule those sessions in during the week. Now, I personally don't like that because it doesn't give my business consistency and also it doesn't look professional. Okay, if you're giving your clients the freedom to pick and choose a day and time during the week, what if something comes up in your personal life, a family birthday party or your wife uh, or husband, you know, you guys are going out together that, that, that evening or something personal happens which is important to you and suddenly you have two or three clients that want training on that set day set on that day and time uh, what are you going to do if you say no to those clients you're going to ultimately lose out on the income that week however if you do the training okay on the days and times that they have requested then that also has a detrimental effect on the relationship with your, with your partner, with your spouse, with your wife, husband, okay, or any family or friends 
who you've promised that you will do something with or go out with, etc. So what I like to do is set day, set time, so that par when parents join the program, they know, right, this is the, the, the day that the training session will be. If we can't make it, then we have to let Leo know and we either lose the session or we try and reschedule for a later date. Okay. Now, if you want to learn more about how to reschedule your sessions and how to communicate this to parents, connect with me. Again, description below. I can, I can show you a number of ways you can do that. But two ways in order to make private one-on-one -on -one sessions worth it. Number one, you've got to charge a premium for them. So if this is your only service or form of service that you are offering, then you've got to make sure that you are charging a high enough fee that you're able to do this and just focus on this. Okay, because one-on-one -on -one training is very time consuming, it's very repetitive, it's very tiring. So you've got to make sure that it has to be worth it. And if it's worth it financially, then it's worth your time, effort and energy to do them. And the second one to grow and scale, right, and make sure that the sessions are worth it, have a set day, set time for all your training sessions. You might choose one day of the week to do all your private one-on-ones. It might be a Thursday, it might be a Wednesday, it might be a Saturday morning. Whichever day you choose, make sure that that, that day is set for your training sessions so that you can do them successfully, charge a premium for that, and then you've got enough time during the week in order to grow and scale the business in terms of do, getting on more sales calls with parents, uh, marketing, promoting, advertising, networking, forming partnerships in your local area. Okay? If you are operating your business sporadically and you're doing sessions every single day here and there, and it's consuming a lot of your time, which training sessions normally do, they normally consume a lot of uh, one's time, then you're not going to have a t any time to actually grow and scale the business in terms of doing sales calls, promoting, advertising, networking, you know, socializing, going to events, etc. Okay, so the, the way to make your one on one your private one on one sessions worth it is number one you've got to charge a premium for them make sure they are more expensive than any other type of service you're offering because it is an exclusive one on one experience that the client is having with you and then second make sure that they are always set they set time every week so that way you've got enough time during the week to then focus on growing the business rather than constantly being in the business and working in the business, okay? So again, if you want to learn more about our Sports Business Accelerator program, connect with me below. Um, speak to coaches every single day about this. It's our number one uh, program that we have at the moment. We're working currently with coaches in multiple sports and coaches across the world are part of this, this Business Accelerator program, okay? So if you want to learn more, get in contact with me. A number of ways to do that, visit the description below and look forward to connecting with you. See you in the next one.